Hi, this is Frank Raddus, and we're here at Red Touch Media, and I'm with the famous Dickie Smothers. This is just a wonderful thing for me. Uh, let me ask you a question, Dickie. What, uh, what is it you're doing here? I understand you have a new program that you're uh, pitching. Yeah, well, I, I'm really pleased to be here, but I have a more senior moments, you know, and I got in this hotel, and I said, now why am I in this room? What did I come here for? What? I think I have to go back to L.A., and start all over again. But it's not that bad. No, I'm here, I'm launching a solo career. And uh, and it is a new career. It's like Tommy and I worked together over 50 years. And if the metaphor is that was 50 years of college. And they were great years, or 50 years of a marriage. And we fed off each other, and we loved each other. We argued, we had every every profile of a, of a married couple without the sex. We're glad about the no sex, by the way. Uh, but. And he's tired, he's done, he's, he wants to just relax. And I'm, I have so much energy, I'm taking care of myself, and I've always wanted to know, if, can I go out by myself without relying on being a terrific straight man for Tommy and him carrying me? You know, you wonder, you know? And uh, so I'm coming out with a minute with Dickie Smothers. It's a little, uh, uh, a, a little, say, human interest, lifestyle, whatever, of my take on life after uh, 20 years of sobriety, after four marriages, after ups and downs of our television career, and just life in general, and making a lot of mistakes, a lot of learning. And when I look at life, I have a little, a little smile about everything. Like the Dalai Lama, now I'm getting the Dalai Lama. It all doesn't matter. You know, just treat everybody with consideration and love, and look at things. I'm looking at things so much different today and with a minute and a half with Dickie, I just say, for instance, hey, uh, if you're happy, tell your face. You know, you ever walk in a room and see sour pusses? Yeah, and happy people, you're gonna go to the happy person, right? Now, watch out for the fake smilers, fake smilers. You can't trust them, but a genuine sour puss, you know what you're dealing with. So those, those are little discernments in life, and with a little smile, a little whimsy, and uh, we're gonna throw it out there, see what happens. And uh, today we launched our new website. I am so tickled to death. What's the URL of the of the website? It's uh, DickieSmothers.com, and it as, just as well it should be. I yeah, and and uh, it it's better than my expectations ever thought. I I, the, I have some creative people in there, and I had great photographers, and they. they Somehow, I photograph better now than ever. You but my fantastic. Well, thank you, but my brain is getting mush. There's somewhere, there should be a crossing where we could perceive and enjoy and appreciate life and still be smart enough to do something about that it. That little teeny moment yeah. in time? Oh, one, of my, one of my minutes is uh, don't dwell on the senior moments, like I started with this senior moment. It's, it's not funny, but we do forget things, even as kids. You know, when I was, my mother put my mittens together with a string so I wouldn't lose them. So we forgot from the start. But I say to people, okay, forget these senior moments, the birthdays that lost their luster. Let's focus on junior moments. Remember when you go in a room and you pick up the things you're looking for, you know where you're going? Those are wonderful. Look at the things you could still do with life with perspective, with uh, wisdom. You've made mistakes. Man, I, I love hanging out with older people. You know, Phyllis Diller used to say, she, we worked with her very early in our career. She said, I hate young women with their student bodies. You know, and that's funny. That's funny, but experience gives you something else. As we, if, as we get older, we don't have student bodies, but hopefully we've learned things to appreciate things and to uh, make wiser decisions. But, you know, the only people that don't have a problem are in Forest Lawn. They're dead. And, uh, and I, I intend to have a, a long life and, and enjoy my... I, I'm Okay, I enjoy my celebrity. I didn't ask for it. I, I, everywhere I walk, I get the cachet and, the, and, the, and the, the smiles of people who want to share their life experience that they had with the Smothers Brothers when they were younger, maybe with their father, who's passed on, said was his favorite show. When I think of you, I think of Dad. Or when I was little kids and Mom and Dad said, you can't watch those guys, and we used to sneak downstairs and, and look through the balcony. They're sharing moments, and those things come when you don't ask for them, they're gifts back. Life gave us some wonderful experiences. Saturday Night Live, you know, we were offered that after we were fired. And it's a good thing we didn't accept it. We, it would not even have been close to that great show it became. 
No, it, I thought you hosted Saturday Night Live. A yeah. few times. Yeah, that was but it needed time. fresh blood. Yeah. Fresh blood. Tommy would have come in with his political agenda, and he wasn't. He didn't quite get it that uh, Tom has a great heart, but some comics put that in. That's their meat. Uh, Bill Riley, not Bill Riley, Bill uh, Maher, uh, John Stewart, uh, George Carlin. They could say those acerbic things, and that's their nature. When Tommy, get, his heart was on his sleeve, and he wasn't funny, mm. you know? And uh, he was funny being Tom, the guy that uh, uh, said, seldom right, never in doubt, like a child. And anyway, the, today, as I'm walking around Nappy, I didn't know if people were going to ignore me, not know or not care. And they could say, I love you, you get memories, but do they want to buy me today? Do they want, do I have anything that the people that remember the Smothers Brothers, well, I have something to say when they, they catch me on a news program or they catch me on a, on a streaming thing. Well, they'll, they'll smile at the memory, because I just hope they like what, I, what my take is on life. The world is a better place with you in it, I can tell you that, Dickie. This is Frank Raddus for Red Touch Media, our continuing series on the future of content. See you next time.